Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new series that will be coming out immediately right now. This is the first episode and that is my new barbecue series. We are gonna talk all things on the grill, all things barbecue, all things for the beautiful outdoors, all the good stuff that you can cook on your barbecue throughout the summer that is WW friendly. I cannot wait to share some of my favorite grilling recipes with you. Wait until you see what I have in store. So if you are a big advocate of one of those, you're absolutely going to love this video. So if you wanna see the first recipe that I have to share with you on the brand new barbecue, all about the grill series, all you have to do is keep watching. It's Thursday and I'm going to get our meat marinating so that it can sit overnight and all day tomorrow so that we can have our first edition of the summer barbecue series on this channel. So I'm going to be marinating some steak. So what you're gonna need to do your marinade is you're going to need a Ziploc bag. You're going to need whatever meat you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use some London broil. You're going to need a quarter cup of water some olive oil and whatever marinade mix that you want to use i'm going to go ahead and use this grill mates mesquite i'm going to go ahead and chop up my meat put everything into the bag here and i'll show you exactly how to prepare the marinade so that it can sit all night and all day and we should have deliciously flavored steak to go on our kebabs so the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and add your one quarter cup of water to your Ziploc bag. That way you can reuse the quarter cup for one quarter cup of olive oil. Then you're gonna add in your mesquite marinade. Give that a good shake. And then you're gonna add in your cut up meat. Shake that all around. Make sure your meat gets nice and covered by the marinade. So let me add everything to my bag and I will show you what the meat should look like before it sits in the fridge for it however long you want to get nice and marinated. Once you add everything to your bag, give it a good shake. Make sure your meat gets fully covered in the marinade. I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator and I will be back tomorrow to show you our first edition of our barbecue season. We're gonna make some steak and veggie kebabs. So I just got home from work and we are gonna get our kebabs on the barbecue. So our marinated steak is looking delicious. You're of course going to need some skewers for your kebabs. We are going to put zucchini, cremini mushrooms, and red onion on our actual kebabs. And then we are going to barbecue up some asparagus and yes, some broccoli. Broccoli comes out delicious on the barbecue. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare the foil pack for the vegetables, we'll get the veggies chopped up and get everything loaded onto the skewer. So the first thing that we need to do is wash our mushrooms. We're not going to chop these at all. We're also going to chop up our red onion into pretty good sized chunks. We're also going to chop our zucchinis and then we're going to just chop the stem off of our asparagus and then we are ready to get our foil packed veggies going and get all of this good stuff loaded onto our kebab skewers. Next, we're ready to assemble our kebabs. So you're going to need a skewer. A tip on kebabs is you always wanna put a piece of meat both at the bottom of your skewer and at the top. That just helps all the veggies and everything stay on. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and skewer a mushroom, a zucchini, and then you can just take a big chunk or a couple big chunks of your red onion. I'll usually do two and kind of stagger them on my kebab. So that is what my kebab is going to look like loaded with everything. And then I'm just going to repeat that by adding another big chunk of meat, mushroom, zucchini, a couple of good sized slices of red onion. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stagger those. And then I'm gonna to top off my skewer with one more piece of meat. And that is what our completed skewer is going to look like 
Look at how delicious this looks. I'm just going to set this aside here on my cutting board and I'm going to assemble the rest of our skewers and we'll be ready to foil pack up our veggies. And there are the kebabs. Look at how yummy these look. We're gonna go ahead and set these aside and we are going to get ready to foil pack up all of our veggies and then we're going to not only season our veggies but we're also going to go ahead and season our kebab so grab some foil grab some seasoning we'll foil pack these up with a little bit of olive oil and then we'll be ready to get everything on the grill so to do our vegetables you're going to grab two even sized sheets of foil you're going to go ahead and take your veggies so i'm going to kind of spread out the asparagus and then we're also going to do some broccoli so i'm just going to kind of spread that out evenly on the foil i know once you spread out your broccoli and your asparagus onto your foil i'm going to go ahead and spray some of the avocado oil spray just a little bit over the top of my veggies rather than using olive oil it'll make our veggies zero points I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of salt over our vegetables, kind of season them to your liking. I'm also going to go ahead and add a little bit of ground black pepper. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the Dax, which is a salt free seasoning. It is so good. This is the citrus grove. So this seasoning has no salt and what is in here is spices lemon peel lime peel and orange peel so this is a perfect seasoning for vegetables if you're interested in picking up some dax i do have a 10 percent discount code i will put that here on the screen and it will be linked down in the description box below but all of their seasonings are salt free and they are all so good so that's it for our veggies so you're going to take your other sheet of foil place it over the top and you're just going to kind of roll that up and essentially we're making a foil boat or a foil pack for our veggies and then that way it's super easy to flip over as well um, on the grill once one side you know is cooked for a while we can easily pick this up and flip it over to the other side so our veggies are ready to go next we're going to go ahead and season our kebabs just a little bit more you did see the delicious marinade that I put on there I can smell that it smells so good but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the Dax red mountain rub and this particular seasoning has sugar molasses onion spices paprika garlic orange peel chipotle pepper and red bell pepper so again it's going to pair really nicely with the mesquite that I have on the marinade of the meat so I'm just gonna give the veggies mainly a quick shake of the Dax Red Mountain Rub, and we are ready to get these onto the barbecue. Kebabs are on the grill. These are looking good. Vegetable pack on the top rack. So we'll be flipping the kebabs and the vegetable pack as they're cooking. Here are the completed kebabs for tonight. So everything looks really good. And then our foil packed broccoli and asparagus. So this is zero smart points. The only thing you have to count points for on the kebabs is the London broil, which is essentially one point for one ounce. And then I am going to count an additional point for the marinade because I did use the olive oil. So let me get my dinner plated up. I'll show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my completed dinner. So I have some broccoli, some asparagus, and I'm going to have two kebabs. I am going to count my kebabs as six smart points. I'm not sure exactly how much London broil I have, probably not quite six ounces, but I'm gonna safely count them as six plus one point for the olive oil for a total of seven smart points. So this is going to be my barbecued, grill, grilled out seven smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on my brand new barbecue all about the grill series. I hope that you enjoyed seeing these kebab recipe. It was so good. We are huge kebab people. They are healthy. They're low points. They are filled with flavor and that grilled broccoli was amazing. So if you enjoyed this recipe, I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss a single solitary barbecue video coming down the pipe, as well as all of the other 
WW friendly videos that I share here on my channel. Again, thank you for watching. Comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try this kebab recipe. And I'll see you guys next time in the barbecue on the grill. Bye.